participate in a structured way, the startup should be working in an innovation hub. That way, we can develop the continent in a structured way. Let me touch a bit on the concept of Africa. Because it is a concept, it is a misnomer. We do not have one Africa. We have regions of Africa that still has till today a legacy of colonialism. I speak in English, not my native language. It is being translated to French, yet another foreign language. These languages, as well as Portuguese, overlay and underline culture. And therein lies a fundamental difference in the markets that our startups have to address. We need our startups to understand this. I was having a conversation earlier, I am from Nigeria, with a gentleman ambassador. He says, oh, Nigeria, big country, one country, 200 million, nearly 200 million people. I said, yes, but you will find that even within Nigeria, there are three countries. Where Morocco strives to say there are not 55 countries in Africa, there are only 54 because of Spanish Sahara, which should be part of Morocco. In Nigeria, you find that Nigeria is three countries, the north, the east, and the west, not one. So Africa is a complex cornucopia okay, of systems. When I hear my Francophone friends talk about Africa, they jump from Cameroon, overlook Nigeria, going to Benin and going to Togo, then they jump to Ivory Coast and go to Senegal. My Anglophone friends do the same. They come from Liberia to Ghana, and then they jump into Nigeria. These are systems that startups must understand exist and will not go away anytime soon. I commend those who have put this event together because it is the beginning. We are right at the start of an integrated Africa for a change. So I, for one, am looking for when Sub-Saharan Africa and the Sahel are integrated as they once were. It's a bit unfortunate people talk about the slave trade is what brought us together, but that is the reality of our people, okay? We do not need to trade in slaves anymore. We can do digital trade, and I am glad to see that it is starting to increase. What is the difference between an angel investor and a venture capitalist or a private equity? It is very simple. An angel investor invests their own money in cash, their own connections in people, and their own time in mentoring and advice. All three make up an angel investor. Cash alone is not an angel investor. Connections alone is not an angel investor. Mentoring and advice alone is not an angel investor. All three must come together and be locally given as an investment into the startup. So if you are a startup, please understand that the most important thing to you is not just the cash. You have to validate your business model. You have to understand the market you are attacking. You have to have a vision for the problem you are solving. And this is just the beginning. So when you look at it, as an entrepreneur that is looking to create value, which is to have impact on people's lives, then you have to understand that you need somebody along the way on the journey, at least at the beginning, until you have proven the model and you have found your product market fit in a way that returns value to the investors. That is what angel investors do. I hope you found it useful. Thank you for listening. Thank you. Uh, I said earlier just a second about one of your great success. What is the greatest success story you have in your portfolio? The one you're proud of, from your mom, right? Okay, well, my, my greatest pride in terms of investment was in 2001. Uh, I used to be, a long time ago, the 
head of IT research for a company called Marks and Spencer in the United Kingdom. And I had struck a friendship with a South African uh, friend of mine. In fact, I'm going to his son's bar mitzvah in November when Lexi will be getting married. Um, and his name is Oliver Powell. Oliver called me and to cut a long story short, I invested $5,000 in his startup in Cape Town, which was a comic book. A comic book that they had wanted to do for superheroes. Uh, but I came along and I said, superheroes will never sell. This is what these angel investors do. Let's pivot and change it to soccer. So we changed it, it became a football comic uh, in 2001. This football comic, okay, today, I will tell you about, but from the angel investor standpoint, we grew into so many countries, and eight years later, I sold, out of my 11%, I sold 6% for $250,000. So from an investment of $5,000, I made quarter of a million dollars. That's what angel investors do. Today, we do nearly 6.9 million views per episode of the animated series. You can find it on YouTube, and it is also on YouTube.